so let's just talk about state in react so the state refers to one object within one component so suppose we have one component a we can have one state within that component which can hold dynamic data and this dynamic data affects the components rendering and behavior and the state is managed internally within this component so in case of class component we define the state by using this dot set state and in case of functional component we use the use state hook so let's try to understand this with one example so first of all let's just create one new component counter.js so in this component we're gonna create one ui where we're gonna have one button and on click of that button one counter will increase so first of all we have to import react let's just create one functional component counter and then of course at the end we have to export that so let's just export default counter so here let's just return the ui so the user interface will have one counter so inside the p tag we're gonna create one counter and here we're gonna show the count and also we're gonna have one button which says increase now to hold and increase the value of this count we need a state now by default functional components cannot have state but with the introduction of hooks now the functional components are more powerful and they can manage their own state so let's just use the use state hook so here we're gonna use the count state and one method called set count to set the value of the state and then we're gonna call the use state hook and inside that we have to pass the initial value so the count will start from zero so the youth state hook will initialize this count with zero and then we can use this set count method to increase the value of this count for naming convention we are calling this set count but we can name this to anything so here we're just gonna print the value of this count state and whenever we click on this button the count should increase so we're gonna use the on click event listener so on click we're gonna call the method increment and then we're just gonna define the method so let's just create this arrow function now here to to change the value of this count we have to use the set count method so let's just use set count and we're gonna increase the value of the count state by one so whenever we click on this button the function will be called and this function will increase the value of this count state by one let's now import this inside app.js so we're gonna import counter from component and now let's just use this counter component so here you can see we have this button and the counter so if we click on this button you can see the value of the count is increasing and that is only possible because of this state inside that functional component which can hold and maintain the value of this count so we can do the same thing using one class component also so let's just comment this out so let's now create one class counter which extends react component now inside the class we're gonna have the render method and this will return the same ui so we're just gonna copy this and paste it right here so inside the class component first of all let's just create this constructor which is gonna take the props now we need to pass those props to the super class constructor now let's just create the state so in class we need to use that this keyword this dot state we have to pass one object so name is count and the initial value will be zero so we have defined our state with one initial value now we have to define the increment method now inside the class component we cannot just directly call increment we need to use this keyword this dot increment and also to access the state we need to use this dot state dot count now let's just define this increment method so we're gonna use the arrow function so now to change the value of this state we need to use this dot set state now here we have to pass this object 
with this new value so the new object will have the count with the value so we have to access the value of the previous state so this dot state dot count and we're going to add one to this previous value so here we're just getting one error so the render is wrong so we have to write the render correctly so here we have the user interface and if we click on this button so our value of this count is increasing correctly so this way we can define the state inside one class component and inside one functional component and the state can hold dynamic data which affects the components behavior so hope you understand the concept See you in the next one, take care.